Introducing a brand new professional audio interface system. Combining state-of-the-art audio networking technology with Focusrite's 25 years of audio excellence. RedNet. It's the last day of NAM, and I'm here on the Allen & Heath booth looking at the rather impressive GSR24. Mike's going to tell us all about it. It's obviously not just a mixer because I can see valves, I can see transport buttons, and I can see Pro Tools on screen, so this clearly is um, something special. That's right, Paul. For the first time this year, anyway, we're hooked up to Pro Tools 9. Yeah. Now, the mixer is a, um, a mixer, a control surface, and an interface. On the interface, there's 32 channels, which is rather fortuitous because Pro Tools 9 has 32 channels in and out. Yeah. And being ASIO and Core Audio compliant, we can link straight from the mixer with one firewire cable into the computer mm -hmm. and uh, be seen by Pro Tools 9. So the mixer concept is based around the ZR16 console, which we, we released two or three years ago and it's been very successful for us but obviously the uh, GSR24 and the GSR24M is a bigger version. Uh, this one has uh, 24 motorized faders on the channels. Hence the M. And uh, that's correct. Um, and the non-motorized one has MIDI faders, so they're still MIDI enabled, it's just that you can't automate them. And you also have the valves in, uh, in a couple of channels there to warm things up. That's right, basically the, the, the channel preamps are so clean and transparent that uh, I thought, well, it'd be nice to put some second harmonic devices in there. So uh, there's a couple of valve channels. Similar in concept to the GS3000, yeah. which we um, made up to six years ago, I believe. But uh, the design is completely new. They can be either configured as mic, mic line preamps, uh, guitar um, preamps. There's a 10 meg DI straight into um, a, a FET stage, and then it runs through um, the valve and the drive stage sweeps between a solid state output and the valve circuit to add or decrease the amount of second harmonic wa warmth from the circuit. It also has a, um, a digital source and a track output to the interface. That means that you can um, re record um, an existing track through the valve stage and warm it up to, um, uh, to produce a warmer sound. So the interface is firewire on this, is that correct? Uh, the interface is in, in a slot, and, it, and so there's a module, so you can choose which type of interface, and also over the years we can um, keep up with new protocols. Uh, okay, so using a card slot rather than Firewire, which is low latency, I guess. We, we're using a slot. The, um, the interface module in this console is Firewire. It is Firewire. It, it's Firewire. Uh, there's 32 channels. There's also 32 channels of ADAT on that same Firewire card. Okay. There's clock in and out, so you can sync from word clock, external word clock, and also aid that in if, if you want to. Okay, pretty flexible then. And of course we have a full control section by the look of it, for Pro Tools around here. Yep, we have uh, MIDI MMC transport control, we have ro MIDI rotaries, uh, we also have a, a select switch on the channels, which is either um, a PFL, AFL, or a solo in place switch for the channel. Mm -hmm. So it's standard um, solo in place which has a, a master clear and a, a self cancel mode so you can um, press any one and it will cancel the previous selected one. But if you deselect that on the console, these switches can be configured as solo or mute switches or track arms depending on your uh, MIDI preset mapping in your software. It looks pretty comprehensive. Um, does it work with other doors apart from Pro Tools? Yes, it does. Yes, anything um, with ASIO or Core Audio compliant. Um, in terms of the control protocols, what, what do you follow there? Is it a HUI protocol or is it um, MIDI okay. control? At the moment, what we have uh, is we have MIDI from the from the console, and that's being mapped using a, a MIDI translator to give our three virtual MIDI ports and a HUI um, control integration. That we have uh, emulated a 24-channel controller in Logic, which doesn't need any um, external mapping or translation, so that's a pretty seamless solution for Logic. So the ultimate question is, how much does it cost in, in both versions, um, if you can tell us that, and roughly when it will be shipping? It's actually shipping this month. We, we did launch it at Plaza back in September. Yeah. Uh, we're a, a, a little behind, but uh, we're <laughs> finally shipping. I can. I'm happy to say. Um, 
In the UK, the price, I believe, is um, around about £7,000 um, retail for the motorized one and a little less for the non-motorized one. Um, in the US, I think the price is just under $10,000 retail for the motorized one and about $1,000 less for the non-motorized model. So it should be quite attractive to a lot of door users. I hope so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mike. I oh, appreciate thanks, that. Paul. Thank you.